we have come a very long way uh, in terms of developing strategies, uh, programs, in order to uh, alleviate uh, the harm and the suffering uh, that have been imposed upon people of African descent uh, globally in the last 500 years. And uh, this decade is really a seminal moment for all of us uh, to, to ensure that uh, these strategies are long-term and, and sustainable. It has taken us the better part of the 19th and 20th centuries uh, to uproot uh, some of the more harmful uh, elements and legacies of these crimes against humanity that have been imposed upon the African people on a global scale. Uh, the 19th century was effectively about uh, the ending of, of chattel slavery around the world and the 20th century has been about the search for civil rights, human rights, uh, respect for the dignity of the African peoples. Uh, this 21st century, uh, we are still confronted uh, with some of these legacies, uh, especially in areas uh, such as the, the economic uh, distribution of wealth away from African communities, uh, the continuation of hostility uh, by police authorities in many societies against African peoples in terms of their profiling and their, their, their subject uh, to harsh judicial punishments. But it's also the question too of access to education, uh, to healthcare, uh, and, to, and to housing. So the legacies are still with us and we are still engaged in confronting these on a global scale across the world uh, the research have shown similar trends and, and patterns. It is for these reasons that the reparatory justice movement has developed on a global scale and is now gaining intensity across the countries that have been a part of the chattel crime against African peoples. When we met in Durban, the objective there was to establish the legal footprint, to establish finally in the Western world and beyond that chattel slavery was a crime against humanity and that as such ought to be subject to a process of reparatory justice. We have been building uh, organizations around the world that are dedicated to this objective. In some countries, national commissions have been established. In other countries, consultations are ongoing. It is our hope that within the next year or two, there will be a global summit to address the issue of reparatory justice. Those countries that have benefited from the chattel enslavement of African peoples have remained reluctant to engage upon this history. In fact, many of the statesmen and stateswomen in these societies have adopted a view which is contrary to the UNESCO and the United Nations template that education, conversation, and dialogue are the best ways in which to heal the consequences of these crimes. Instead, they have called upon African peoples to forget the history. They have called upon them to remove this history from their political narrative. And in fact, some have actually said that the African peoples must get over this crime and the legacies that continue to endure. In all of this, we have said time and time again that the reparatory justice movement is not simply about the empowerment of the African peoples in respect of the history they have experienced. But it is also about finding a new philosophy for the organization of societies and the world for this 21st century in order to create social justice, moral authority, and peace within the human family. These are not issues that can be ignored. In this decade, all of you, our colleagues who are working on projects and programs, will of course keep all of these objectives in mind. That there is work to be done to repair the damage that has been done to the African people. There is work to be done in healing humanity 
as it searches for peace and justice going forward. The pleasure is mine to, to send this message uh, to all of you, our colleagues, who are working uh, in this decade to advance these conversations, to strengthen humanity, and to make the world a better place. From the Caribbean, uh, where I am situated as the chairman of the CARICOM Reparatory Justice Commission, I send this message of solidarity. I send a message of hope and of brotherhood and sisterhood to the entire world. Congratulations on the work that you have done thus far, and I wish you all the very best as we go deeper and deeper into this decade, which must be a decade of significant outputs, significant achievements, and, and in the end, a moment of celebration. I wish you all the very best. Thank you.